Hillary Clinton, First Lady, U.S. Senator, Secretary of State, Presidential Candidate. The story I'm about to tell you should be of interest to America's media, because it's one that could either end Hillary's chances at being President, or lock them in. Because, frankly, what else could the extraterrestrial question do? In 1993, billionaire son to the Rockefeller fortune, Lawrence Rockefeller, engaged the Clinton White House through their Office of Science and Technology. The subject of the engagement, releasing the UFO files to the public. Lawrence Rockefeller had become interested in the subject and a believer after a close friend, the Prince of von Liechtenstein, told him the story of witnessing a discraft shape on the ground some 30 yards away which then took off vertically and disappeared in an instant. A trusted friend telling him the story, much less the head of a state, aroused interest in the billionaire's son, who had great interest, frankly, in such issues, including the nature of consciousness, something also closely tied to the E.T. issue. Bill Clinton, for his part, has admitted that he sent close friend Webster Hubble to the Department of Justice to find out the answer to two questions what happened at Roswell, and who killed JFK. How dangerous was this inquiry? Webster Hubble was destroyed politically through the government's favorite tool, the IRS. After five years, it's over. The Office of Independent Counsel has finally agreed to leave me, my family, and my friends alone. Lawrence Rockefeller had invited the Clintons to his Wyoming ranch, which butts up against the Grand Tetons, to specifically discuss the ET issue and the release of the UFO files. There is a now famous picture of Hillary walking with Lawrence. In her arm is a book. After some diligent work by researchers, the book cover was identified as Are We Alone? Philosophical Implications of the Discovery of Extraterrestrial Life by Paul Davies. The official documents proving the engagement in the Rockefeller Initiative are locked up at the Clinton Library. However, copies of the original have been released by researcher Grant Cameron. In March of 2014, Bill Clinton was on the Jimmy Kimmel Show, where he asked Bill Clinton about UFOs. Here with us, so if I was president, and I won't be, let's be honest. <laughs> The first thing I would do after putting my hand on, on that Bible and taking that oath to serve the country is, I, would, I wouldn't even probably finish the oath. I would run to the White House. i demand to see all the classified files on the UFOs. Because <laughs> I want to know. I'd want to know what has been going on. Did you do that? Sort of. Sort of. I highly recommend you watch the analysis done by Ben Hansen from the TV show Fact or Faked. It's fascinating. Even more fascinating is that about a year later, President Obama was on Jimmy's show as well and was asked nearly the identical question. So this is something I feel like, if I was the president, and it's unlikely that that is ever going to happen. You never know. <laughs> if I was the president. It was unlikely that I was going to be president. <laughs> <laughs> the moment I was inaugurated, my hand would, would just, it'd still be hot from touching the Bible and I would immediately race to um, wherever they hold, have the files uh, about Area 51 and the UFOs, yeah. and I'd go through everything to find out what happened. Right. Did you do that? <laughs> That's why you will not be president. <laughs> and Ben Hansen of Fact or Faked has also analyzed this one as well. These two are not to be missed, and the links can be found below. So, what makes one think Jimmy might ask Hillary Clinton the UFO question? Well, for one, her campaign chair is John Podesta, Bill Clinton's former chief of staff. In 2002, and again in 2003, he attended a press conference on government transparency at the National Press Club and openly called for the release of the UFO files. Uh, I think it's time to open the books uh, on, on uh, questions that have remained in the dark, on the, on the question of, of government investigations of, of UFOs. It's time to find out what, what the truth really is that's out there. Uh, we ought to do it really because it's right. We ought to do it because the American people, quite frankly, can handle the truth. 
and we ought to do it because it's the law. John Podesta's disclosure of his desire to see the UFO issue exposed did not discourage the Obama administration. As John Podesta served as the co-chair for the Obama transition team in 2008, and from 2014 to 2015, he was special advisor to the Obama administration on climate change. Upon leaving, in his exiting tweets in February of this year, John Podesta tweeted the following. Finally, my biggest failure of 2014, once again not securing the disclosure of the UFO files. Hashtag, the truth is still out there. CC, Maureen Dowd at the New York Times. So what? Still not sure why Jimmy Kimmel would ask Hillary Clinton the ET question? After an interview with actress Lena Dunham on October 2nd, 2015, Podesta tweeted again the following. Great interview, but Lena, ask her about aliens next time. And no, he's not talking about illegal aliens. Now perhaps Lena doesn't like the ET issue, but we know clearly that Jimmy Kimmel does.